distracting myself. All right, guys, thanks for getting on our coach Zoom call. It is October 16th. This is our, uh, it's also the day one of our boot camp. So thank you all for being on. I think boot camp, obviously, it's always off to an awesome start. Um, we'll, I'll be announcing buddies and teams before I go to sleep tonight. I'm just trying to give people as much time because I know we have some people that check in at night. Um, so inevitably, some people will post their contracts later and that'll be fine too. But we are, so far, I'm kind of making the list and our teams look pretty even, just like they were last time. So it'll be good. Um, but I kind of had this idea that, you know, we really want to encourage like people to get out there on social media, right? And share some things about their journey. Um, because ultimately, you know, if you guys do want to grow your teams, your best coaches are going to be the people in your boot camps. Like they're going to already love everything about this. Coaching is like a natural next step. So what I'd like to do this is really weirding me out that I have the light is covering my eye. What I want to do is um, start to encourage more like, you know, coach like behavior in our groups because it's getting them comfortable with social media. It's getting them comfortable being open about their journey. Um, so I kind of had this idea that to do a team hashtag and also it would be with both of our groups because we do have two groups going on simultaneously. My thought was, and let me know what you think <laughs> on the days that we have, um, the team workout challenge days, you know, those like those challenge days, we could also do team workout and hashtag challenge. And their additional challenge would be to go somewhere on social media, you know, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, their Instagram story, anything and um use the team hashtag so i thought that would i mean it wouldn't like they would still earn the points if they did the workout challenge but you know more focus would be given to the team that is showing up and doing the team hashtag um so i was thinking we should do that we could try it out what do you guys think mm -hmm. i like that and yeah, it would just yeah. be on the days that we do the the team the workout bonus so it'd be one day a week but we need to find a hashtag before that i think our first workout challenge is Wednesday, I think. So we need to find a hashtag that doesn't exist right now because I want it only to exist for our team. You know what I mean? Hey guys. Okay. We just had a couple people get on. Coley, I'm in the midst of texting you. So you might see where the dots go up. Uh, we're talking about team hashtag for our challenge and we're going to do the team hashtag on our team challenge day um, to encourage people to go to social media and share maybe their workout tips or something like that. Um, so why don't we do this? Who's really good with like Instagram? I feel like Jenna. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just search and I'll like maybe just something to do with like October fitness or something like that? Like, I just want to make sure there's not already a hashtag that exists or if it's like five posts, that's fine. Um, but like something like October, like fall fitness, I don't know. Some, like, I feel like October virtual boot camp, kind of blah. Like, let's make it like a little more festive. Um, and if you get some ideas, let me know. And if anyone else wants to search too, I just don't want it to be like October fitness. And then there's, you know, millions of other people that hashtag the same thing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And just something new to try, you know, just something new to make people like excited about it. So we just have to come up with a hashtag before Wednesday, because that's going to be the first time that we ask them to share it. Um, and the cool part is, you know, whether you're on, if you're on Facebook, you can do this too. If you're not familiar with hashtags, they're just, you know, little topics. But if you click on them, you see all the posts from everyone else who hashtagged that too. So ideally, they're clicking on that hashtag. They see all of us that have checked in. So I feel like that's a cool way to bring people together. Um, so brainstorm, guys. You know, obviously, if you know how to check and see if a hashtag is really popular or not used at all, let's just brainstorm. Let's think about it over the next day and let's decide by tomorrow. Um, well, I'm totally open. You know, I'm not creative, so... Put stuff out there. Coley, you're good with social media stuff too. So you jump in there. Everyone's good. I just, you guys are all more creative than I am. Okay. Um, also, if you guys are on your computer, do gallery view so you can see everyone and not just my, my big face. Um, but let me just see. Okay. Melissa's here. I want to make sure everyone knows everyone. Jenna, Kathy, Coley, I think this is your first coach zoom. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And she just signed up her first challenger today. So yay. Yay. And Stacey, I see your name, but I don't see your face. But thank you for being here. I hope you can hear us. Um, Carol, I see, I think you called in. No, I think I see you. Is that Doretha on the phone? Well, thank you guys for being here. Um, I just want to make sure everyone knows everyone. Okay, okay. So I'm jumping into announcements. Um, take some notes if you have the ability, because there's kind of a lot going on right now. And I want to make sure if 
you can come back to it and just double check. So the next promotion that Beachbody is doing is November to Remember. And that is like Team Cup, uh, but it's Beachbody sponsored. It's you and one other coach. So if you and one other person want to partner up for November, it's to work on your business goals together. And, you know, Beachbody pools your success club points. You can qualify for prizes, just like the Team Cup, but it's, it's you and one other person. So the registration actually opened today. Um, I'm looking for a partner if someone really wants to uh, push hard in November with me. But it's, it's, um, you know, it's a fun thing to do, and it's a fun thing to keep someone accountable with their business goals just as much as you keep someone accountable with um, their health and fitness goals. So you guys all have business goals on some level. I know you're all working at different paces, but this is a really great thing to um, think about joining. And I think if you're working your business, definitely do it. You know, whether, and maybe share what your goals are to help you find someone that's maybe on the same path as you right now. So you can really push and, um, and help someone and they can help you too. So that is, uh, I think registration is from now till the end of the month but I'm gonna hope to like have my partner by this week squared away. Uh, that is, again, November to remember. You'll probably hear about that going around Beachbody. Um, did anyone do the double time sneak peek that was going on this weekend on Beachbody On Demand? I didn't, but keep that in mind, guys. That's releasing in November, and that's really cool because you know a lot of you guys are, have families that wanna get active, like moms wanna get active with their kids. This is a cool program. I'm not the biggest Tony Horton fan, I'll admit it, but I think it's a great concept. Uh, every workout requires a partner. So it's a cool concept, especially I would say for like parents and kids, you know, and people looking to get active as a family. All right. All right. Let me see. Okay. Coach office. Oh, stressing me out. You know, you get used to, I've had the same coach online office for four years and now they changed everything on me. And I'm like, what do I do? So now I have to relearn all this. So there are some kinks and um, I do think it's going to be more user friendly. So I want to show you guys a couple things on the coach office because I've heard that there's something you definitely need to do. Otherwise you risk um, the orders not going to your site. I don't know if that's true, but I just heard that from Janelle Summers. So I want to make sure we do it. But coach office is a lot more sim simplified now. It's not so much a black hole. Um, and even if you're not checking it every day, I would say just start to check it every day. Start to click on something new and see where it takes you. But I want to share my screen because I do want to show you something that you do need to do, you know, whether you're going to have an order tomorrow or you don't know when you've got to set up your website. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, can you guys, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So one thing you do have to do is under your office, whether you're on your phone or your computer, you're going to see these icons up here. Grow my business. You need to click that and then you need to click my websites and profile. It's super quick. It took me like five minutes to do. So mine is already, mine looks different because I already set it up. If you haven't set it up yet, it's going to ask, it's going to prompt you to upload a picture to uh, put the date of your next challenge group that when the next boot camp is kicking off, which is kind of cool. And I think one more thing, but you have to go here and you have to set it up. Um, that confirms that you have basically validated your account. And then if you, when you're done, you can view your website. This looks pretty cool. So this is what customers will see. So see, I uploaded my picture. Um, and then it's just about me. I just did a little picture of me and Brooke. You can do like a before and after picture or something, but look at this. So you can turn, basically you have to turn on all of these options. So when someone goes to your site, granted, I don't give my website a lot because I'd rather just set up an order but they can shop, they can become a coach, they can get Beachbody On Demand, or they can try the free membership. So I had a, I know a couple people asked about the free membership. This is a really easy way to, to make people, get people signed up for the free account. Um, but isn't, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. and it says, see, it says contact me. Like I put our next group is starting today. So it says contact me about next group starting today. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. And let me see anything else on here. So really guys, just spend some time looking at the icons. Um, grow my business is gonna, again, that's where you need to go to your websites and profile. Monitor my business is gonna be where you see all your news reports. So your new customers, your new coaches, um, you know, customers, like it'll show you down at the bottom if you have like breaking news, whatever. But also downline, make sure if you are checking your downline, you want sponsorship drill down. That's the best one because the genealogy Honestly, stay away from it right now. It's just going to include coaches you don't know. It's going to be a little confusing. I can break it down with you in the future, 
but sponsorship drill down is your coaches only. And we'll show you what leg they're on. And then, you know, events, news is going to be where you hear the national wake-up call is right here, everything. Uh, support is where you're going to get the forms and documents. So if someone needs to change to be your customer, if you need to change someone's placement in your downline, um, Shakeology modifications right here. Do you have any questions about that? I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So just, just take um, a minute, you know, in the evenings, but do make sure as soon as possible you set up your website. It'll take you two seconds. I just heard you need to do that like ASAP just for um, compliance purposes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, all right. So all I wanted to do now, and then we can have time to chat or, you know, whatever it's, um, I know it's late, so I don't want to take up too much time tonight, but I wanted to just kind of brain dump what if you ideally want to start growing your business or you want to take your business to the next level doesn't matter what pace you're going at i have some people that want to be diamond by december i have some people that really want to progress gradually that's the beauty of this business there's no time frame you can work it or you know not work it at your pace but just know if you do work it daily you're going to build momentum and if you take some time off it's like starting that wheel again takes more effort so my advice no matter what you want to do keep taking action every day i don't care what kind of action take action. Just like your fitness journey. If you stop for a week, that Monday workout is going to be pretty tough, you know, cause you haven't worked out in a week. Same thing with your business. Um, but sometimes, you know, it, you're like, what do I do? What do I do during my business? Coach training might've been a long time ago for you. Um, you can always refresh it, but I think that going over and just doing like a brain dump real quick is going to help you guys with what to do. So daily and weekly daily post post on social media quality over quantity facebook is always changing instagram is always changing latest i heard um even if you post one time a day and that post and that post does well like if that post gets nothing then you know make sure you, you get another post up during the day but if you get a post that's just taken off and people are commenting and liking on it i mean you can post if you have something to post later but like that posted great so great plan for something tomorrow what I will say though, is if you are getting comments, try to respond to every comment because the more that Facebook especially sees activity on a post, the more it's going to keep showing it in the newsfeed. So like if someone says, Kathy, you look great. I would say, Hey, thanks, Sam. You know, how have you been? You know, even think about a, a message, almost like a message in your, in your comments. Um, that's going to keep triggering Facebook to share. Go live. I went live tonight and I was scared. I was sweating. Um, I don't know why it's so scary for me, but we have a sneak peek later this week and I wanted to share with people what I do because I'm, I'm proud of the business, business I've built up. I'm proud that I can be home with my baby. Um, I'm proud that my husband can be home with me most of the time. Like I just had to get over it and just go live and be okay with sweating. So <laughs> again, I don't, I don't love live, but I had to get uncomfortable. So I would say go live once a week and maybe you can have everything prepped like for your first live broadcast. Maybe you share like how to make a really easy snack, healthy snack. Um, maybe you share like five tips to get active now that the weather is cooling down where you are. Have a plan for your first one so you don't stumble too much. Um, but people like the stumbles. They like the realness. Okay. I had no makeup on. My hair is a mess and I went live and I, I felt empowered after it. That's more of a weekly one. Sorry. Back to daily. Start new conversations. That's it. So simple. But if you're not starting new conversations, then you will hit a point where you don't have new people to talk to. Um, you know me, I don't like to beat around the bush. I usually just invite people straight up to my free group because they gave me some sort of indication that they're watching what I'm doing. Um, and that's where I really add value to people's lives. And that has really been made me feel like I want to invite them to a boot camp. I have a reason to do that. All right, daily invite to a boot camp when appropriate. Um, I think that's really important. No one wants to be invited to something they have to pay for out of the blue. If they like your fitness progress picture, Kathy had an amazing one. I think it was a couple of days ago. Like for example, I would invite directly to a boot camp with a post like that. Like it was clearly a before and after. She's losing weight. She shared her journey. Um, that is something clearly like if someone supports me, I'm going to say, Hey, thank you. Have you ever considered joining, learning more about a boot camp? Very non-threatening. Um, but I wouldn't do that on like a post of you and like your, your cat or your, or your um, baby because they're not necessarily giving you a reaction that they like that stuff. But if appropriate, 
invite to the boot camps daily. Invite people to learn more. It doesn't matter that we just started today. There's never a bad time to have that conversation. Most of you guys know people aren't going to be ready immediately to jump in. Cool. Um, daily personal development. That could be the national wake-up call. That could be the five-second rule. Such an amazing book. Um, that could be you know, the team hardcore training, like what, do something. Most of you guys drive a car, <laughs> listen to something in the car. If, if appropriate and you don't have kids in the car or whatever, like if you can fit personal development in that, it changes your mindset daily work out, follow your program, like to a T, you know, get excited about your program. If you're feeling like a plateau in your fitness, you might be in a plateau in your business. So get excited again about something. Don't feel like if you're not jiving with the program, change it. It's okay. I would just say change it, but then follow that next program schedule. Um, I wouldn't just kind of pop around and do random workouts. That's just me. I, I would not recommend that. Shakeology every day, just super easy. Um, check in with your boot camp. Obviously, you guys know that. Like you don't even need. I mean, it's just a part of our our job is checking in and being being a great challenger ourselves. And lastly, for daily i have stay positive and have fun if you're not po feeling positive about your business or your fitness if you're not having fun you're not going to grow you're not going to see change in either facet so if you're not having fun like go have fun again run a challenge that you're like pumped to run do a free challenge um the end of october like do a halloween theme challenge if you love that time of year get excited I did want to mention next month's challenge is technically going to start the second Monday in November because November starts late during the week. So Monday, November 13th. I also didn't want to start a challenge the Monday of Thanksgiving. So I feel like that was probably a good move. That will still give us a week off between boot camps. Um, but we're starting a little bit quicker in November. So the sooner you can kind of plant the seed late October, minute november 1st hits you're you've got people to invite to our november boot camp so i recommend running a challenge technically the last week of october this time around october 29th two weeks from today perfect time to do like a theme one if you like halloween okay that's it for daily is that helpful mm -hmm. okay weekly national wake-up call listen to it every week uh, if you listen to the podcast you can always skip over the recognition if you want to just get to the meat of the call um, but listen to the announcements in the very beginning those are helpful the team zoom get on the team zoom as much as possible seeing people's faces is so helpful guys like we're from i'm looking at everyone we're like representing the united states across the board here so like we live in very different places but it is really great to see your faces every week um i hate that i had to cancel last week but i won't do that again team hardcore training our upline in our organization is janelle summers and she just has really quality trainings every week so this is more of our community call i'm not trying to give you guys like legit trainings every week because I'd rather you listen to Janelle, who is way more successful. Um, she's obviously figured stuff out and she has really great guest speakers on. That it, you can find that training in the Coach Success group. If for some reason you're not in that group, let me know after this call, I'll add you. You click on the pinned post, the most recent one is always right there. The live, the live training is Thursdays at noon Eastern, but I never listen live for some reason, I don't know. Um, I know some of you guys are at work at that time too. Okay, two more things under weekly. Invite to coaching. If you're at that point in your business and you have people to just, you know, learn about what coaching is, we have a sneak peek into coaching every other Thursday and Friday. One is this coming week, hence why I went live to talk about coaching. Um, if someone reacts to posts where you talk about what you do, once again, don't be afraid. Say, hey, thanks for the support. Have you ever considered learning more about what I do? Because maybe they're, they've been watching you for months and they just needed you to ask them. Most people are not going to approach you, but when asked, they are probably a lot more receptive to it. As long as you don't scare them away with a message like eight paragraphs long, don't do that. <laughs> Short little message, so thanks for the support. Hey, have you ever thought about this? That's it, because what if they do? What if they join? What if they lose the weight they wanna lose? What if they earn an income? What if they turn this into a legit business in three years and they're earning six figures because you asked them? You can't, you cannot decide what people are going to do with this business. All you can do is present the opportunity and support them. Okay. Like three years from now, you could have nine people on your team who earn six figures and have changed their entire life and paid off their debt and are in the best shape of their lives. And maybe you don't, but maybe you're not going to know unless you ask. Um, okay. Um, okay. So yeah, post a call to action post weekly. If you are, you're earning a call to action post, if you're posting consistently, what I mean by a call to action is you either invite to a free challenge, 
a boot camp or um, coaching and you give people a clear re a way to get in touch with you. Some people, some of you guys have created Google forms. You can say, fill out my Google, fill out my form in the, in the comments. Some of you guys have, um, you know, you say click like or comment, but call to action means you give them a clear thing to do to react to you. For me, it's going to be Sunday nights because I add value all week. And then I ask people to do something. Hi. <laughs> Make me laugh. All right. Um, th two more. Rewrite, rewrite your goals. Every Monday, I used to do this really consistently and then I got out of it. Take your notepad on your phone and write your goals for the week. You know, whether they're fitness related, business related or both, um, treat each week like it's a month. So what do you want to accomplish this month, but you only get a week? You know, think about the people you want to help. Think about your fitness goals. Think about um, a lot of things, but think about it in seven day increments. That's going to make you take more action than if you thought, oh, I have the whole month to do this. No, no. You have seven days. What are you going to do? And lastly, check in with your upline. Check in with me. I think you're all my direct coaches. Um, there's nothing that I really want more than to help you guys succeed in whatever you want to succeed in. I don't care if it's more towards your fitness. I don't care if you're gung ho, ho business goals. I want to help you. And it like honestly fills me, fills my cup. I get a lot of joy out of helping you reach your goals um, because I want you to succeed. I want you to love this business and I want you to be happy that you said yes to this opportunity and I want to show you what's possible. That's all I got. Helpful? Yeah. Okay. So, um, some action steps from after tonight, I want you guys to, as soon as you can, just do your profile on your website just to cover your bases. I don't know if that's true or not, you know, but set up your website. If you have any questions or problems, let me know. Um, think about a hashtag idea and let's post about it in the team page. Let's decide tomorrow so that by Wednesday we can have people hashtag in for the challenge. And that's it. Go live sometime this week. I'll be watching. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Anything to add? No, everyone, I gotta go to bed. I'm tired. Whew. Okay. Well, let me stop the recording.